okay in this video we are going to talk about the sql server integration services okay this would be the first video on that thing and we are going to see how to export the data from the one data source to the other okay la okay my visual studio 2005 okay i'll just close this thing and start a sql server 2000 visual studio 2008 integration services and we will look into the details okay here is the visual studio 2008 that has been started and now okay this is the shell that comes with the sql server 2008 enterprise edition or you have to install on the with the sql server 2008 no this is not a full fledged visual studio in this case but it will suffice our right now it will suffice the things if you have a visual studio 2008 professional onwards you can use the that thing also but in my case this is quite sufficient for this project or for this video. okay go and start with the file go to the new go start with the project Now, as you can see, business intelligence project has been actually. You can see this is the uh, highlighted here, and I am going to look for the integration service project, and I am going to name this integration service as because I am going to just integration export data. I'm going to click OK with it. Now remember that thing. I am actually using a Visual Studio 2008 from the Windows 2003 server, which will not be the case when you are developing the and using it because the reason is that you would be developing on the operating system like Windows XP, or Vista, or Windows 7. That is the client side. not on the server side only the execution takes place on the server side development takes place with the client side so you would be working on the window 2 on the window vista or xp depending upon the client side whatever it is okay anyway let's continue now once we have this thing running up as you can see it has not started up yet hold on for a second Okay, now that we have this thing running up, you can see that sometimes you when you start a project, the solution explorer would like to disappear. So go just go to the view part of it and click on the solution explorer, and you would be having a solution explorer on the right side. Now in this case, it has started with the project package. I am going to rename this package. I am because we are going to use it. We are going to use it for the export purpose. So I am going to rename this package for named as export data. Once you rename this package as export data, this is what you would be actually executing it. This is a package. You can have a multiple projects in the multiple packages in the same flow. Okay, now wait on for some time. Something is not coming up. Hold on. Okay, this was where the solution explorer is. Here it is the server explorer is. That is where you would be looking for the this thing. Okay, here is the control flow. All the control flow would be here, put here, and there is this is the data flow where all the data flow would be actually taking place. Okay, this is not actually enabled until unless you don't put something on the control flow. There would be nothing here, and there is the event handler here. Okay, what is having with the event handler is that whenever you are using a Visual Basic. or the c hash coding you can code it here depending upon the circumstances and depending on the programming and then there is, a, there is a package explorer usually what happens is there will be a lot of controls on your screen that you won't be able to see it this is where now the place where you can look for those things and even if the errors show up and if you are looking for the errors here this is the exactly the place you would be looking for the errors now we are going to go to the control flow Now, first, I am going to rename this package. I right-click on it and I say rename the package. 
once I ne rename the package I will say export authors and I am going to click enter don't try to rename the extension DTS X otherwise it will give you a problem now it will prompt you do you want to rename okay do you want to rename the object as well definitely yes always say yes it has to be same otherwise you will get confused okay now I have the package renamed okay this is the SS SQL Server integration service packages I have got to rename this is time we are just going to use export data nothing but else okay now we have to select the data source first so I am just going to click on the right click new data source once I click the new data source what will happen is that it will prompt for the SQL Server or whatever OLEDB you want to connect it to and we will be making a connection and definitely we would look into the details as the screen comes up here it is it has started a wizard well well good enough you don't have to think too much next okay here already I have this thing in my thing listed here but anyway I will show it to you if you go with the okay I am going to delete this thing both of these things because the thing is that until and unless I don't delete it you cannot be on how to do it okay I'll go and select a new one to create a new data so create a data source based on okay here it is the prompting me for the SQL server name as you can see and I am going to select the SQL server name whatever you some people may like to put local I will like to put the SQL server name fully <laughs> depending upon what you want to do okay I have many SQL server here as you can see there is one this, this is 11 2008 okay I am looking for the SQL Server 2008 depending upon the criteria select the enter the database names I can put the pubs database from here or I can select it here depending upon what you want to do if you know whatever is there now hold on for a minute till it comes up okay here are the many of the database that are here in 2008 here I am going to select the pubs okay going to test connection and it is going to say successful and we are going to move to the next screen then from here onwards now as you can see okay the test connection was successful I am going to click OK I am going to click OK in this case now I am going to the next one okay here is the connected string it says database source name pubs connected string it is showing you I am going to leave as it is and I am going to click finish So now that we have data source already into it now we can start working with our project ok we are going to look in, we are going to create a two to export first is we are going to export the data from the SQL server to the txt file and then we are going to export the data from the SQL server to the excel in this project itself ok now let's go and look at the toolbox once you go to the tools you will be seeing a lot of tools are here okay there is a control flow items okay whenever you are building this integration service packages you would be having a lot of controls it depend upon what you want to do you can just look into the details there are many many of these okay right now as you can see then there is a maintenance task plan and then there is a journal okay here it is what you are going to drag it okay in this case I am going not going to do anything but I am dragging the data flow task to the here until unless you don't drag one of the control flow items you cannot do anything remember that thing this is the first okay here we are as you can see here is the data flow control and I need to rename this thing so I am going to right click it and I am going to select the property or I can say rename depending upon what you want to do I am going to say authors flow authors data flow and that's it I have created this thing 
okay now i can double click it and here we are in the data flow once i once you double click something here okay because it has to have many features okay it will go to the send us to the data flow as you can see now i am going to select the data flow here i am going to put an oledb source here remember this is the source not the destination so this is what i am the i have got it here i have brought the oledb source on this page that is the data flow page hold on okay here it is after the control flow we on the data flow now i have to configure this as you see when i have brought it it has a red cross on it which says that the connection manager has not been assigned a runtime connection oledb db connection so let's go and attach a oledb connection to it double click it it will show up a screen and we will look into the details as it comes and we will proceed accordingly hold on for some time okay here it is here the screen has shown up i am going to select a new click on the new in the connection manager oled db connection manager here i have clicked on the new it will show up one more screen and then we will work out depending upon what the screen input is needed what it want us to select from the drop down list box and other things and we will there okay here we are actually we are looking towards the details of the project as such and we have got the data so actually because of the cancel operation was there okay that's why the reason it was not coming up and now that we have got it we have selected this database we already have made this data source available and i'm going to click okay in this case what access mode you want table or view i am going to say sql command i can build a query here i am going to build a query in fact i could have directly typed the sql command here but i am in this case just because for a clarity of the understanding i would just actually use a build query and once we get into the build query we would be looking into the how to build a query also of course if you are familiar with the building a query no problems at all it is the same process in all the sql server locations whether it is a management studio or it is a project it is a reporting services or it is here or you are using a query builder it is all the same process okay here we are again the same four pins if you have to use a report builder okay here it is if you use a reporting service it is very similar pin similar this okay query builder okay and then we have the authors add this is a very basically when you create a program with the object oriented programming in a sql server at when you the sql server was created must have been c++ or depending upon it is object oriented and you have they created the and they have been using the code again and again they have been using the active x control again and again this is how the sql server is i am going to click close okay and in this case i can select all with the star in this case i am going because there are not many fields as you can see so it's well to us okay but in the version time you would be selecting only those fields that you require do not select all the fields try to keep it as less as possible and what your requirement is click okay and we are here with the okay as you can see columns go and click the columns if you want you can you we could have put the data and gone to the okay but we have not done so okay but in this case it is okay as you can see i can go for a preview click on the preview
and then we are going to click OK. Okay, here is the data. As you can see, the it has shown up the data. No problems at all. Close. I'm going to say OK. So far, so good. I'm going to save this project. And now you can see there are two arrows for the data flow. One is for the when the, when the data is going OK, everything has gone OK. It will go to the if there is an error while actually sending the data across, then there has to be another one that will be used with the red one and there is also a yellow one that will come across later but in this case here it is sufficient now I can go back to the toolbox now because I am trying to export this data to the text file I am looking at the text part of it and it's not very difficult as you can see what we are going and looking for is the destination we are not transforming anything as you can see we are just going to look at the destination of the this thing and here is a flat file destination I am going to move the flat file destination here now this is where I want to actually put the data in the flat file now flat file has to be here and as you can see I am going to connect these both of the things okay here we are now when I click here I will be able to see a green arrow okay I click and drag this green arrow to the flat file you know, I want this data be to be flowing from the OLADB source that I have selected that the authors table I want it going to the flat file now actually I have to actually see you can see a red cross means it, it has still some problems we have to configure it double click it okay here is a flat file connection manager I am going to say new or depending upon what you want to do okay here is delimited fixed length what you want to do with the flat file it is giving you in this case I am just going to use a delimited that is delimited by comma and I am going to just move on to the click ok usually I am trying to export the data to the by the delimited and we are looking into the details of the delimited now we are nearly on the process as we can see now it's asking for the file name definitely okay here is the connection manager name I can say authors export connection you can type whatever feel you like feel like name okay then you can give a description of whatever you want okay here is where you want the destination to be okay here is the data dxt I can say already I have both the authors so I will say authors data dot text I am going to say open as you can see it is already okay it okay okay the column name on the first row definitely I want the column name on the first row columns advanced preview all these things are good enough I am going to say ok now I still you can see that the mapping is not here I have to check the mapping until unless I don't select the mapping I cannot click on ok here is how this has been mapped to the from the source to the destination you can see the source you can see the destination I am going to click ok with this thing ok now that I have this project ready okay now I am going to execute this project to execute this project I can run it from here as you can see once I execute this project it will show up it will start running as you will see it will from become from yellow green all those things and in the end if it goes to the green we have got successful if there is an error it will stop and give us a red block where the error was where the error happened in this case it is running the package and we are looking towards the DTS package being getting run as a matter of some time we will see the result ok here it is coming up if there is an error it will give us an error
Here we can see that the progress pain is actually has come up. Okay, it has successfully executed as you can see it has gone to the green. Okay, now that we have this package running, okay, now I can go and look into the data where it is and we would be looking into the data. Hold on for a moment. Okay, before that thing, I look into the data, I have to stop the execution from here or I can actually because I am in a debug mode, I can stop the execution, stop debugging because we were in the debugging mode. Okay, now that we are out of the debugging mode, we have stopped the package and now we can go and look into the data where it is. Okay, here is our data. I am going to double click on the data, author's data. As you can see it, that here is our data and I am going to double click it and there is uh, at the behind uh, this thing here is our screen you can see that the author data has shown up and there was this export taking place beautiful isn't it very simple just close it down and save it project as you can see now we are going to add one more package to the this thing this time we are going to use a sql server to export it to the excel very similar process no problems at all let's go and actually create a new data source as you can see there is a data source this is here i am going to take up a new data source i am going to take the adventure database again adding one more data source click next okay in this case I say new again I am going to select the SQL server and th this time the database would be adventure works okay here we are looking at it and then we have our database name that's coming up once we have the database name coming up we will select the database name that is adventure works Now remember that it's not going to be always easy that easy depending upon where you are taking the data it will, will require some transformation to be done in between the process okay and next and we have got it finished we have got the adventure works data source there finish and it will come up for some time there we are I can add a new SSL package as you can see I am trying to do that thing I have selected a new SSI package this time and we will be adding a new SSI packet to this project itself and we would be looking to the integration okay it's coming up okay it has come is known as package 1 we are going to rename this package also we are going to say adventure export rename it don't try to delete the extension name it will give you a problem remember that thing just try to be very careful about it if you do some editing ok adventure product export now that I have this one more package named adventure product export we are going to use a very similar process in this circumstances also in this video also again the same thing it will prompt hold on for a second and we will okay you want to rename the package object as well definitely yes always say yes okay now we are going to the toolbox again we I have to bring the, the data flow task here as you can see I have brought the data flow task to this okay 
and I am going to rename it the control flow I am going to say adventure flow task okay and we are done with this part of it now I can actually go double click it it will put me on the another data flow screen here again I am going to use the toolbox bring the OLA DV control source control remember it has to be a source control here on the screen configure it double click it depending upon OLA DB connection you can look here drop down there is nothing here okay we are going to cancel it we are going for a new one once we go for a new one we can look into the details of the new it is coming up as you can see that there it is adventure box has just jumped up and we are going to click select the adventure works only and I'm going to click OK and once I click OK what happens is basically you can see a table view SQL command etc 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 okay let's select a table view and I am going to select the sorry I'm going to select a SQL here here it is you can select the whatever table you want it's depending upon whatever you want it to do okay but anyway I am just going to go and select a SQL command it will ask me to build a query we will go and build a one query we will select few of the fields from products and that is going to be what it is and we are going to move to the next screen as we usually did in the previous okay here it is add the table we are going to select the adventure works database again in this case we are going to select the products looking for the product okay here it is product okay add it we are not going to select all the fields because this is anyway for just for the demonstration purpose only this is a lab going on close okay we are going to select a few fields product ID and depending upon other things let's make it one or two fields more and I'm going to click OK with it okay here is a column go to the preview and preview it and once you preview it you see the data and we can select OK if you see the preview the data and we may then move on to click the OK button and we will move to the next screen okay, here is the data that has been showed up so far so good click OK now we have got the OLA DB source set now we can bring this time as a destination we look for the Excel now what happens is that we when we bring the destination to the Excel as you will be seeing it what happens with the excel here is where is the excel destination data flow destination here is the flat file here is the excel destination now we have got the excel destination so far so good ok again you see here there is a red cross here we don't want to actually ok first before we go anything we always have to connect this thing to the source and destination now that we have got the source and destination connected we can double click on the destination and it will show up the other things and we will use to fill it ok new again here is the excel path it is showing you can put select the 2003 or 2007 I have both the things 
I am using Excel 2007, so I will leave it at Excel 2007 rows. In this case, I will say products. Dot XLS. I'm going to say product dot XLS. I can say open, and I'm going to click open the first row as a column name. Click OK, and here it is. It is saying table view. I can select the table or view, and then let's go to the say new. Click on the new, and it's going to select OK. Okay, and go and select the destination, Excel destination. Just see the mapping. I hope everything is go going okay so far. So good. Everything is okay here. Let's preview it if you want. Okay, this is how it's going to look. That is the Excel. Okay. Now. Let me save it before executing the project. It may or may not get executed depending upon if something goes wrong. So we will have to rectify that problem. If it goes well off, okay, then we are done with this project. Now we are waiting for the thing. We are saving the project. That was why it was looking like that. Start debugging. I have started the project in a debugging mode, which will start executing the project. If there is something coming up, that box will turn red. That would be the Excel destination or the whatever that is, and it will turn red. Means some there was some problem with the Excel destination. If it is going gone, okay, it will turn into green. And we are waiting. The build is succeeded. It says, hopefully, we can look it to turn green. It is still in a debugging mode, which is trying to execute the package. As you can see, it shows the progress. There is a progress pan that has been actually. Where you can look for the details of the project. You can see what is going on and what's not going on. Here is the project validation complete. Let's go to the data pool control. Okay, here it's gone from yellow to green, and we have got it successful. As you can see, that was excellent. And then we can go and look into the data of the product dot Excel, and I'm going to click open, and you we have learned how to create how to export the data to the text file and as, a, and as well as the Excel file. Now here it is coming up, and that will actually be the. End of this video. Okay, here is the data of the Excel. As you can see, you can rearrange it depending upon the dragging the column size, the bigger or smaller, whatever it you want to do with the data. I'm going to close it, and I am going to close this thing. And now going to save the project once more, and I am going to end it here. That's all. That's it. This was the first video on the. SQL Server integration service, and we will looking we will looking for the uh, something else in the other videos depending upon what we are going to do. Thank you very much for watching the video.